Hello everyone, this is Mr Lee uh, with what I hope will become the first of a weekly uh, update via the Facebook page for everyone. I hope everyone's okay, hope everyone's safe, I uh, hope everyone's abiding by the uh, government guidelines. Um, I'm sure lots of you would have been out last night clapping for our wonderful um, colleagues in the NHS and just we're so grateful uh, for all that they're doing for us. Um, I'm here to give us a bit of an update about what is going to happen post Easter um, and uh, the few things I need you to take care of. This message is for all students and all parents and all carers at Q3 Langley. Um, right, what we have done, uh, we've just put actually onto the website a brand new uh, bit of work, which is our new Summer Challenge Volume 1, uh, and that has gone live today, and that contains a whole variety of tasks that we want all students in Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4 to complete uh, over the coming days and weeks. Lots of work in there. Just a reminder to everyone, obviously we still have the spring challenge uh, that was due in for submission and also we had the bonus challenge as well that we gave out to everyone before we broke free. So just a reminder, we've only actually been closed for two weeks and we're still getting some calls from parents and carers saying the work hasn't been provided. There is a lot of work there. Let me give you a bit of an example. Here's one of our Q4K booklets. Just look at the work in there. Now the whole point of the Q4K and explains at the start of it a load of techniques on here. We've done a lot of work this year, particularly Mr. Alexander, giving you tips about how to revise. Revision is not the most interesting thing in the world, but what I want to see is all of our students working through this body of knowledge. Knowledge at this time is key, and if you can remember this knowledge, then you'll be in a better position when you come back to the academy, whenever that is. Obviously, we've got all the old Q4K books, we've got uh, lots of stuff on our website as well, www.q3langley.org.uk. We've got the MFL vocab books as well as the, on there. And on Monday from midday, all of our maths team will have set uh, all students' work on Hegarty Maths. We want students to be on Hegarty Maths uh, to complete some of their maths work. Just a, another point about that, you know, lots of students' downtime will be on devices. That's why a lot of our work is paper-based. And also we realise that for some families, not everyone can get onto a computer or has uh, access to screen time like some people do. And also next week as well, um, is when the BBC are going to be releasing their content via the BBC Bite Size page, also via iPlayer, via the red button, and we want you to engage whatever uh, year group you are in with the content that the BBC are putting out. So that is all the work that we are setting um, for next week. That has also been set uh, via class charts, and it's really important, parents and carers, that you log on to class charts because that is where the work will be set for your child. Uh, as we move forward. Um, also, actually, I forgot to, to mention, uh, Mr. Seaton and Mr. Dawes did a great job with Accelerated Reader, uh, and there is some content on our website there where students can self-quiz themselves based on the books that they're reading. And, and what I would say at this time, this unique, unusual time, if every student at Q3 Langley could come back and then have improved their reading age beyond their chronological years, then that really would be of great benefit for everyone. And Mr. Dawes and Mr. Seaton have put some links on there that show you how you can access books uh, for free online, even if you, you haven't got the kind of physical copy in front of you. We have been posting lots of links um, daily on our Facebook page. Thank you to all those who share them. Uh, and we will continue to do that on uh, days that school would sit. Got a really fantastic link on Monday from Speakers for Schools, uh, which, which uh, is really exciting, really something to look at. Um, so that takes us through next week, the week commencing Monday the 20th of April. Um, I will be back here on Facebook next Friday where I hope to give you another update about the week commencing Monday the 27th of April. But that is where our, our, our offer for independent learning, our work that has been set, is going to change. Now what we're going to do then from Monday the 27th onwards, we're going to issue work daily. And that is going to be based via subject. So Monday is going to be English. Tuesday is going to be maths, Wednesday science, Thursday is going to be MFL and the humanities, so geography and history, and Friday is going to be all our non ebac subjects like PE, like uh, lessons in Horizon, in Innovate, in Cloud9, and of course all our options lessons for our Key Stage 4 students in Year 10. Um, so we're going to be update, uploading work daily, and the idea is that students will have seven days to complete that. Um, now we're just tweaking that using class charts as well, and, uh, and as I said, I, I aim to be back here this time next week where I'll give you further details about that. So, final message from me. Um, 
huge thank you to everyone. Uh, I hope everyone's keeping safe. I hope everyone's staying at home. I uh, hope everyone's helping out around the house. We're all missing you greatly here at the Academy. It's a really sad place with no students here. And we hope everyone's really safe. And uh, we will see you very, very soon. Thank you for watching.